Hi, I'm Sarah Pettick, owner of Bike the Gap. We plan self-guided bike tours on the Great Allegheny Passage uh, and the CNO Canal towpath between Pittsburgh, PA and Washington, DC. We've helped hundreds of riders discover their adventures on the Gap. And we've been asked a lot, what is the best bike for the trail? Well, we covered what's the best tire size for the trail in our previous video, and today we're gonna look at bike frame. So what's the best bike frame for the trail? This is a hybrid bike or trail bike. You'll find this in a lot of stores because it's very versatile. The top tube is very slanted, very angled. Uh, you have some flat bars here, and this is gonna put you in a more upright riding position. This next bike is a uh, touring bike or a cyclocross style frame. This top tube is much higher, uh, definitely less slanted, and you have some drop handlebars. You're gonna be in a more aggressive riding position on this bike. So this sacrifices some of the comfort of uh, an upright bike for the speed and power similar to a road style bike. This last bike is a modified or a comfort road bike. We've done some modifications to make it a bit more upright, but the top tube is still fairly high. We still have some drop bars, and this is gonna put you uh, in a more aggressive position. It also doesn't allow for very wide tires. And again, we talked about wanting at least 32 millimeter wide tires uh, for most of the trails in, in the previous video. So what's the answer? What's the best bike frame for the trail? For multi-day trips, we found in general the more upright comfort position of a hybrid bike works best for our riders. Now if you have a cyclocross frame or a touring frame that you really love, and provided it does follow the tire recommendations that we've talked about, go ahead and ride it. You're going to have a great time. If you have a road bike, while well, you can ride it on the Gap, um, we really don't recommend it on the, on the CNO. And even on the Gap, uh, we suggest that you're going to have a better time and a more comfortable time on a more upright bike. We haven't talked about tandems, recumbents, folding bikes, uh, uh, trikes, and we've had riders use all of those bike types on the trails. Provided you follow our recommendations uh, for the tire sizes, we think any of those bikes can work as well. And if you have questions, just give us a call. We can uh, help answer some questions for you. Check out our next video and our last video about best bike for the trail, where we're going to talk about your contact points. Those are your hands, your feet, and your seat. When you're ready to learn more about self-guided trips on the Great Allegheny Passage and CNO Towpath, check out our website at bike-the-gap.com. There you're going to find details on our self-guided trip packages, answers to frequently asked questions, and some photos and videos of the trail. Thanks for watching today. We'll look for you on the trail.